welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Victoria and we are Super Geeked where we celebrate everything we get super geeked about. One of the things I get super geeked about is reselling clothing online. That's right, I own my own e-commerce business where I sell clothing that I purchase either from retail stores, buy sell trade stores, uh, garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, wherever you can buy clothing and then I sell it online for a profit and my customers also get to buy these items for a discounted rate. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I've sourced tons of New With Tags mod cloth since I launched my Poshmark closet. And the place that I'm getting all of these is a liquidation company called Hudson's. I've mentioned them in several of my videos. They own two stores. They own a place called Treasure Hunt, which used to be Hudson's. And they also own Dirt Cheap. So first I'm gonna take you along when I go shopping at this Dirt Cheap to see what the new Mod Cloth inventory is that they got in and what price they're at. And then I'm gonna head two cities over to go to another Dirt Cheap and to a treasure hunt and see what they also got in these stores. Now these are not the only stores that are getting this Mod Cloth in. We have heard that the Mobile, Alabama store has Mod Cloth that in even further west, a dirt cheap in Picayune, Mississippi is getting mod cloth. And I haven't scoped those out yet, but I have been to the three that I'm going to today over the past maybe six to eight months. And so I'm just gonna go see what they have in now because they keep getting new inventory in. So maybe I'll get to find some treasures for myself because I love wearing mod cloth and maybe I'll just find some stuff to resell on Poshmark and eBay. So uh, if you think you might be interested, stick around and come along with me while I go shopping.
Okay, y'all, I'm done shopping and I totally lied. I'm not going two cities over now to go to the other dirt cheap and the treasure hunt because at this dirt cheap, I scored a little over 40 mod cloth dresses for $2 a piece. That's right, guys, $2 a piece. So I'm so excited. They're all new with tags. And I had started to put them back, but another girl who was checking out before me came back and said, they're $2, they're $2. So I went and grabbed everything I had put back and put it back into my cart. And so I'm so excited. $2 a piece. You can't beat that. I'm brand new with Tags Mod Cloth and can't wait to see what kind of profit I make with these. What happened? Look at all of this. I'm just amazed. This is crazy. There's so much Mod Cloth. Hey everybody, it's Victoria. I'm back with a haul video of all these amazing mod cloth dresses that I was able to pick up for $2 a piece. You heard me right, $2. I don't know how I got to be so lucky, but I did. So I thought it would be fun to show you what I got because you would be able to see some of the sub brands that mod cloth carries besides having their own in-house mod cloth clothing line. So when mod cloth was started by Susan Coger, it was started as a vintage online retailer. So she was a reseller. She sold used vintage clothing online. And as the business grew, she started to carry more brands that were brands from abroad that were vintage inspired. So she carried a lot of UK brands and a lot of other European brands. And then slowly Mod Cloth migrated into having their own brand. They also did some collaborations with some of these brands. Uh, for example, Mod Cloth does some exclusive designs with Collective, which is one of the brands that they carry. And so those designs are exclusive. They're um, like a crossover design that is only carried by Mod Cloth. Let's get into the haul and I'll show you what I got. This dress is by a brand called Lace and Mesh. And Mod Cloth has carried them for a little bit. This dress is in a 1X and it's a midi length dress. It has some tiers and stripe pattern. Really cute for spring. Um, and you really could wear it in cooler months too. And because since it's, it's like sort of fall colors, you can layer it. So really this is an all season dress. Um, just however you like to wear it. Okay, this is a newer brand that Mod Cloth has started carrying. It's called Princess Highway. Um, I got this dress in a size 16. This is an Australian brand, and Australian brands are super hot, not just for mod cloth, but anywhere you look, Australian designers are really, really hot right now. So I like that this has little dandelions all over it. It's a typical sort of 1950s shirt dress, but it has this tabbing at the um, shoulder, and it has a tie waist. Really cute. I mentioned this brand earlier. This is uh, the brand Collective. They are a UK brand made in London. And this is a really sweet polka dot A-line skirt with a belt. And it's made out of this really nice heavy cotton fabric, um, textured and lined. And just really pretty with these shiny buttons. But um, Collective is a brand that Mod Cloth has carried, I think, since the beginning. But um, so they're definitely a brand that has sold very successfully with Mod Cloth, and Mod Cloth has kept their partnership with them strong. Another British brand is Sugar Hill Brighton. I actually sourced some culottes from this brand from ThreadUp. And um, you'll see those in another video that I'm going to be doing about sourcing from ThreadUp to resell. And this is just a sweet little dress. I love these colors. It does have pockets. And it's just a really pretty dress for spring with these pretty tie shoulder details. And just a comfortable dress to wear for the warmer months. Another newer mod cloth carried brand is this Mademoiselle Yi, and this brand is out of Germany. I love that it says um, vegan, PETA approved on the tag. It has these cute little lips and their logo. This brand was started in 2011, so it's a fairly new brand, 
but another high quality European brand. This is a beautiful um, heart dress. The hearts almost look as if they're spades because of the way that they are alternating patterns. Um, this is just a beautiful dress. It's got a scoop neckline with a V-back and a hidden zipper. And then it's got a tie waist that is actually inside of the belt of the waistline. And so it just ties right here. So just a really pretty dress, really flowy and soft. Another Australian brand, this is called Sunny Girl. These um, Sunny Girl dresses, and this is a romper that's in polka dots. Um, these tend to be a very lightweight fabric. Um, you can see this is uh, semi sheer. You can sort of see a little bit through it, kind of like a peekaboo. Um, it does have pockets, but these tend to be not as substantial as some of the other mud cloth pieces, um, but very good for warmer months. Like I said, this is a romper. It's polka dot. It's got these sweet little buttons down the front, and it's got an elastic waist. So very cute. These next two dresses are mod cloth dresses. So here's the mod cloth tag. This is the newer mod cloth tag. And this one has little balloons all over it. Very cute, just cotton lined with pockets. Love a pocket on a dress. Um, little A-line dress. And this very similar style one with a sweetheart neckline and ice cream cones. Again, the lined cotton pockets, just like the other one. And this one has a little bit of ribbon detailing at the bottom. I got both of these dresses in two sizes. This one does have adjustable straps. They're both the Mod Cloth brand. Both they're really nice quality cotton dresses, which I own a bunch of. I actually own this dress and the balloon dress. <laughs> Another favorite brand of Mod Cloth and collectors of vintage inspired is Emily and Finn. And Mod Cloth has carried Emily and Finn for quite a while now. These are just really great quality dresses. Very sought after, very collectible. They have pockets. I think almost every Emily and Finn skirt or dress that I've ever gotten has pockets. Um, this one is a midi length. Very pretty in this abstract paint. I love the colors, they're very spring and very up my alley. Um, Emily and Finn is a UK brand. Definitely some of the more sought after pieces of mod cloth are by this brand. So definitely keep an eye out for Emily and Finn. Okay. The heck Victoria just throwing stuff around. So I actually got this dress in two sizes. I thought this would be great for a tropical vacation. Hello. Especially those cruise nights where you have to have something nice to dress up in. Very 1950s. I love that it's got this like pleating detail right here in the front on the bodice. You know, very flattering for any figure. And this is by the brand Ixia. I think that's how you say it. Ixia. And this is made in the USA. This is another brand that you'll see mod that Mod Cloth carries quite often. Um, some of their dresses are more high quality, like this one is. Some of them are not as great quality um, and don't have as very exciting prints. Or, you know, sometimes you can pick up dresses from Mod Cloth that are really great, um, but they don't really have that vintage-inspired feel as much as some of the other dresses that are really kind of quirky and kitschy. Your person who's shopping for these sort of styles are really into that aesthetic, the majority of them. And so they're going to want the more interesting and novel pieces. Another British brand that Mod Cloth has carried for a very long time is called Voodoo Vixen. And here is the label. They're very popular around the rockabilly, punk rock, you know, vintage style dress. That's sort of like their niche is the sort of rockabilly scene. And this dress is a little more classic than some of the stuff that they do. This is just um, a sweet little 
crossover bodice, uh, peacock feathered, and it's like a burnout lace. And it's got, see, it's got like a sheer layer on top. And just a pretty dress. But this is a brand that Mod Cloth has carried for a long time and probably will continue to carry for a long time into the future. Okay, next dress is this really pretty yellow and silver iridescent dress. It's got a pretty little bow tie detail right here. And it is by the brand Liza Lux. I believe Liza Lux is a Mod Cloth in-house brand. Here's the tag. And a lot of the fancier dresses are under this brand. So um, it does have pockets. And it's this really pretty A-line knee-length dress with a V-back and a scoop front. And a lot of these Liza Lux dresses are very high quality sort of cocktail wear. And I just thought this dress was so precious, very vintage inspired. And so I picked it up. Okay, another UK brand is Luce. And this is called the Kathleen Dog Dress. Mod Cloth actually has a different name for it. You'll find that a lot on the UK brands. It's good to not only put the name that Mod Cloth has named these dresses and other items, but also put what the original manufacturer has them named as, because people who collect Luce or Emily and Finn may be looking for the dress name that the original manufacturer calls it and not just the Mod Cloth name for it. So it's good to have that in your listing too. But this is a very sweet Dalmatian dress with these iridescent buttons. And it's got a pretty little tie back waist. It does have pockets. Last dress I want to show you from this haul I am madly in love with and I want to keep it so bad. So it is this beautiful mint green and cream dress that has flamingos on it, you guys. So it is again by the brand Collective. And this dress is in this fabulous satin. It's super heavy. Like, I'm surprised it hasn't broken this hanger. It's so heavy because um, underneath these pretty flamingos is tulle upon tulle upon tulle. So it's got this nice full skirt. So I'm trying to talk myself out of keeping it because it's in my size and it cost a whole $2. And it's amazing. So that was my haul of my... $2 dresses of Mod Cloth to share with you that are now listed in my Poshmark closet at Retrospectives. I hope you'll go check it out. Thanks for stopping by our channel. Again, we are super geeked where we celebrate everything we get super geeked about. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell notification so that you'll know next time we put out a video. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed the content and thanks for coming by.